Hey y'all, welcome back to Kelly's Kitchen. Today is Taco Tuesday, so we're gonna mix it up a little bit and we're gonna make homemade Southwest egg rolls with a homemade jalapeno avocado ranch. So excited. Yes, I am wearing the same outfit from Sunday, but this is my lounging outfit and I worked from home today, so I'm lounging. All right, just wanted to preface with that. Um, so, we're going to start off first with doing the jalapeno avocado ranch. Um, so, I have a blender here, all right? And to this, we want to start by chopping up one jalapeno. You can just do a rough chop. doesn't have to be super fancy. I've already washed this guy, so don't worry about it. Um, I'm going to leave the seeds because I don't mind him being... Um, a little spicy so I'm just gonna just literally just cut in half and cut into big chunks Ooh, there you go. all right and now we're gonna throw them into the blender and I did forget something like always one second okay I'm back all right so yeah toss the jalapeno into there um, I'm just doing one because there's gonna be jalapenos in the southwest egg roll mixture um, and I plan on making that a little bit more on the spicy side so anyways um, then I want to throw in, I have some cilantro here. It is a little sad cilantro, but that's okay. Um, I'm going to be using, I did already wash it. I am going to be using most of it in the actual egg rolls itself, but I did want to use some of it in the dressing. So I'm just going to cut off probably just the ends here. So you can see that. Okay. Um, probably just like this last little bit of the ends right here. I'm just going to throw that into my blender because cilantro you don't like it don't do cilantro but for us for us that like cilantro we want that part all right i'm just gonna put that there put that to the side okay all right and now to this blender i'm gonna add i'm not sure yet if i want to do one or two avocados so i'm gonna like kind of add one blend it and see if i want another avocado makes sense cool. all right so first uh to this we're gonna go ahead and add three quarters cup of mayonnaise you can use whatever mayonnaise you like i like the dukes so that's what we're using so i'm just going to measure out three quarters cup this is a quarter cup measure so i'm going to do three of those into the blender really quick all right i got my three quarters cup mayonnaise in there it's a little messy it's fine all right and now we're going to add three quarters cup of buttermilk um ooh, that's dusty all right so we're just going to add Three quarters cup of that in. Um, if you want to do regular milk instead of buttermilk, you're more than welcome. Um, you can get regular milk instead. I'm just using buttermilk because I'm doing a buttermilk ranch. And this ranch recipe, like the regular ranch part, um, without the avocado and cilantro and stuff, is a recipe I actually got from my friend, Amy. Thank you, Amy. Um, I'm just kind of altering it a little bit to do this. Because why not? All right. Okay. So I got my three quarters cup of buttermilk in there. I'm just going to wipe that off. All right, and then now we're gonna add to it one packet. I'm doing the Fiesta Ranch. Now you can do regular ranch. I'm doing the Fiesta one. You guys wanna add a little extra flavor. All right, so I'm just gonna put that in there. Okay, and then now let's go ahead and cut up an avocado. You don't really need to cut it up, just gotta take out the wrapper right the wrapper gosh the peel I'm just making up what things are nowadays that's just what I do apparently and so I'm gonna peel that right out again I'm gonna start with one avocado and see if I want to add more like one more or if that's good enough for me so I'm just taking the pit out and here we go. I feel like, oh, there's a little more cilantro. I feel like I should maybe add a little lime juice. So I'm going to squeeze in 
that's a quarter of a lime. We'll start with a quarter and see how we feel. So I'm gonna blend this up really quick and I'll be back. All right, y'all, I got that all blended. Look at how pretty it is. I'm gonna give a little taste. Mm, that is amazing. Perfect amount of spice, perfect amount of flavor, and one avocado was plenty. All right, so now I'm just gonna go ahead and transfer this to a dressing bottle. All right, so there was a bottle's worth plus this much for us for dipping. I am, of course, gonna add some more to that one. Um, but yes, here is, ooh. Our, Well, it is not squeezing out right. Let me shake it up a little bit. I think it was like a seed or something. Well, this bomb, we can just kind of shake it out. There you go. All right. I don't know. I think I need to shove a toothpick down there. On this, <laughs> on today's episode of Kitchen Fails with Kelly. Uh, okay. You know what? You just pour it out. Anyways. Got enough out. It's cool. It's fancy. I'll just have to get a toothpick to it. But anyways. <laughs> there's our ranch. It's delicious. You can totally even eat, just eat this with chips. Like, so good. Alright. So now, which we'll probably do. Alright. So now we have that done. Now we need to start making our Southwest egg roll filling. Um, if you've ever been to Chili's, um, they have these like Southwest egg rolls and I'm kind of doing a copycat version of that. So that's what we're doing. So let me clean this up here and let's start on our filling. Literally, literally all. It's a good dip. Okay, so good. Mm. Just want to show that. Okay, anyways. Now we want to do our mise en place, which just means prep your vegetables, everything, right? So first thing I'm going to prep is I'm going to dice up one red jalapeno, or one red bell pepper. I'm doing two jalapenos, a bunch of green onions, and this last little bit of cilantro. So I'm gonna go ahead and chop all that up really quick and I'll be back. All right, I got that all chopped up in a little bowl. Trust me, I did chop these, I didn't buy these. I know it just looks really pretty, doesn't it? It looks like Christmas. Not yet, Kelly, it's almost Halloween. Don't jump holidays. <laughs> okay. So I also have a, a can of sweet corn that I have drained. So I've already opened that and drained that. And then I've also opened, rinsed, and drained um, a can of black beans. So I have that aside. Um, we're gonna need like about two handfuls of spinach or so. So I have some spinach here that's already washed and prepped. And now I wanna go ahead and prep my chicken. I'm gonna show you all the ingredients, okay? And then I got seasonings, we'll get to that part. So I have a packet of the thinly sliced chicken breast, which really comes out to like one full breast about um that's usually what it is just one full breast so i'm just gonna um dice this up into little chunks we want to kind of keep them as small as possible so i am going to use the um kitchen shears to do this um but i do want to get kind of small and i'll show you about how small we want them all right i did go ahead and um i have a large skillet on the stove heating up with about two tablespoons of olive oil I do have that already starting on medium heat while I cut up the chicken breast. That way it's nice and hot and ready to go whenever um, I bring all this over there to cook together um, to make our filling for the egg rolls. So this is about, excuse my uh, washer oil. This is about the size you want. See how it's kind of, it's a tiny, okay? That's what we want because again, it's going into an egg roll wrapper. So we do want it small. So I just kind of cut into smaller strips and just Cut it into little, I guess, quarter inch. Is that about right? Quarter inch chunks. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just gonna cut all 
three of these into that. Yeah, it's three. Yeah, three thinly sliced breasts, which make up usually about one large breast. So yeah, I'm just gonna go ahead and cut all this up, y'all. And then I'll be back with y'all here in a moment. Okay, y'all, I got my chicken all diced up. So now let's start cooking. All right, y'all, I got my skillet over here all heated. So I'm just gonna move my oil around a minute. And then we're just gonna go ahead and add our chicken breast right into the oil. Ooh, love that sizzle. Okay, and then let's go ahead and season up the meat really quick, which should be enough seasoning for the whole filling, right? So we're gonna start with some salt. We're gonna say one to two teaspoons, about one to two teaspoons of uh, ground black pepper. About one or two teaspoons of smoked paprika or regular paprika, whichever one you have. Then we're gonna do in about a teaspoon of onion powder. About a teaspoon of garlic powder. Add in about a tablespoon of ground cumin. And then we want some chili powder. I'm using this ancho chili powder I have, but you can use regular chili powder. Um, I got this at Amazon. Um, I'm gonna do about, eh, probably about a tablespoon. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead and stir all the seasonings right into my meat. And this chicken will cook up very, very quickly because it is cut so small. All right. Now that the chicken is already mostly cooked, it was that quick, y'all. Like this oil was very hot, the chicken's cut so small, it's already mostly cooked. Let's go ahead and add in the onion, bell pepper, jalapeno, and cilantro. Let's stir that right in. Oh, look at how pretty that is, y'all. Let's also add in our drained black beans. Yes, I'm piling on my dishes here. Sorry, y'all. Let me actually get these dishes out of y'all's way. All right, sorry about that, y'all. Okay, so now we've got this all going. It already looks and smells amazing. Let's go ahead and add in our can of sweet corn. Again, I like to use the sweet because I like the sweetness uh, contrast with other the flavors going on, you know? It makes sense to me. This looks so good. I don't think y'all understand how excited I am for this because I absolutely love the Southwest Egg Rolls from Chili's. I just haven't been to Chili's in a minute. So, all right, and now we're gonna throw in about two handfuls of um, spinach. Or spinach cooks down, so you know it'll get really wilty. I'm sorry, y'all. I'm getting a call. One second, let me decline that. Okay, I hope you can still hear me. I started getting a call. Sorry about that. 
All right, um, now I'm just gonna stir in the spinach right into our mixture and let this start to wilt down. And yeah, let this finish cooking and get that all wilted. All right, y'all, after your spinach has gotten nice and wilted in that mixture, it looks and smells amazing, y'all, I'm not gonna lie. Okay, uh, we're gonna go ahead and add in about eight ounces of pepper jack cheese. Um, you can either buy it already pre-shredded or you can be like me and have a block and you gotta shred it. But about eight ounces, I'm gonna go ahead and shred it in here. All right, I got that shredded in, y'all, so now I'm just gonna stir it all into my mixture. We'll go ahead and Turn my heat down to low. I'm gonna use the same burner for the oil to fry the egg rolls. But I just wanna go ahead and get this. Oh, I'm just throwing mixture out. This is gonna be hot. Oh, nope, I dropped it. Okay, ha oh, ha, got it. <laughs> y'all didn't see that. Okay, I'm be messy in here, y'all, be messy. Don't do that, it's hot. Okay. <laughs> all right. Now it's all mixed together. Look at how beautiful that is, y'all. I'll show you a little bit closer. Look how pretty it is. It's nice and melty and hot. All right, so now we are going to move back to the other side of my kitchen and we're gonna start building some egg rolls. Um, and I, oh, there's all you. And then I'm gonna go ahead and get a cast iron on this um, burner, put it back up to medium. I'm gonna heat up some canola oil in there. I'm about quarter to half inch thick so that the oil can start getting hot for us to fry up our egg rolls. All right, y'all, so I'm gonna use egg roll wrappers. I have a pack of this that I had left over from when I did the Crab Rangoon egg rolls um, the last time. So um, I'm using those. You're more than welcome to use tortillas instead, but I'm using actual egg rolls. Uh, or egg roll wrappers. So you're just going to take a sheet and there's 15 in there and we're just going to lay it in a diagonal shape on a plate, cutting board, whatever. And then we're just going to take a scoop, a little scoop of our southwestern mixture. Here we go. All right. And then we're going to take some water and just moisten the edges of the egg roll wrapper. Um, if you prefer to use an egg wash or something, you're more than welcome to, but water works perfectly fine. So I say just use water because it's easier and you don't waste an egg. <laughs> All right, so I got those moistened, so now I'm just gonna fold in the corner. I wanna kinda get this kinda tight. I'm gonna fold these edges in and then we're gonna roll it. All right, just like that. Broke a little bit, it's um, because it's, the mixture's still hot. Um, might be best to let the mixture cool a little bit before doing this, but it's my first time making them, so we're just gonna run with it. All right, so now I'm just gonna do the same thing over and over again until I have all my egg rolls made. I could probably do a little less mixture. Maybe that'll help too. Let me do a little less mixture. I see that as I just put a big old scoop in there. All right, well, you know, it's trial and error, y'all. Trial and error. All right, there we go. So I'll go and show y'all one more. Just use some water on all the edges. Just that's just gonna cause that seal. I just kind of pour it over. Okay, and then now we're just going to pick it up, put in our edges, and roll it into an egg roll. There we go. And then I have a little baking sheet over here. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do all my egg rolls, and then we're going to start frying. All right, y'all, that was just enough filling to make 15 whole egg rolls. Look at those. All right, so now the oil's ready. We're going to go ahead and start frying them. This part happens very, very quickly. So you're just going to cook them cook them to the golden brown on each side. Um, once I get some of them in the oil, I'll show you what they are starting to look like. All right, y'all, so y'all can see it, it started going very, very quickly. So now I'm going to go ahead 
I see they're already going brown. Oh, sorry. They're already going brown. I turned my camera. Sorry, y'all. And so I'm going to go ahead and flip these guys over so that the other side can start going. And since our filling is all the way cooked, this process is very, very quick. Basically, you're just cooking the egg roll wrapper. Get it all sewed together. So just flip it over. And I'm doing five at a time, so I find that's the easiest way to do it. So I'm going to finish all these up, and we will show you all what they look like after they're done. All right, y'all, and here we have homemade southwestern egg rolls with our homemade jalapeno avocado ranch. So let's have a little taste, why don't we? I didn't cut them open because I was too impatient, so I'm just going to dip it in. It's going to be really hot, but... Mmm. Mm-hmm. So good, look at that film. Mmm. These are so good, y'all. Ooh. 10 out of 10. Recommend. Make these. I'll definitely be making them again. Enjoy.